Hello everyone, Stover420 here, and I'm bringing you Dark Souls 3. Um, I had my old name, I started a playthrough of this, but did not finish. So... Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Saint of the Deep. Of Farron's undead legion, the Abyss watches. will abandon their thrones. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. So it is that Ash seeketh embers. All right. So in this playthrough. I'm going to be so, I'm going to be detailed through this whole game. I'm going to explain the things I'm going to be doing. Um, and I, when I beat the game, I will be going back to, to do all of the endings. Um, and I will be collecting almost everything. I will beat every mini boss, every boss. That isn't through the main story. I will still, I will still beat them, because I want to 100% this game. Twenty. I want. Yeah, yeah. I might want to be female. You know. I haven't, I haven't really played around with a female character. Um, I also want to be a, uh, 
I'm a wizard. Um, it's tough. It's between. Between Sorcerer and Pyromancer, really. Uh, for the Pyromancer, he's, he's more evened out. And he's a. She's a higher level. Uh, but I'm going to choose Sorcerer, um, since I'll be doing this alone. I won't be looking for summoning signs. I won't be, I will, I will help people out. I will put my summon sign down, but I will not be accepting help. I'm doing this alone. So, I won't have to worry. People. So you used to require many souls. None of these really um, aid me except the life rings. I'm gonna grab that. Her eyes are. Uh, Yikes! What? What is that? <laughs> I don't even want to know. A Lawnor, shadow of death, a lifeless face, almost that of a hollow. A uniquely deformed face, perhaps merely ugly. Prejudice births. Malcontents and malcontents swarm to the great swamp. So I'm pretty much just an inbreded version of my, uh, my uncle's fucked his sister, you know. I, th I, I n not to be offensive, but I think that's what it is. It says prejudice birth malcontents. So I think that's that's what it's hinting at. Is uh, inbred. I'm gonna go with the Astora. Kind of looks normal. That's just the presets, but I'm gonna. All right, so what's she gonna look like? She gonna she gonna be what the fuck? Right, she's, you know what? I'm just gonna keep her standard. Cause that's just that's weird. I don't. Can I play the voice? I like that mature voice. I don't want her body hair to be thick. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, is this just the size of her head? I don't really care that. What? They're just the same color pretty much. They're all the same color. Red? You want me to... I can change your color with a color wheel. Alright, so I want her to be a little tan. I can even change the skin tone as I... I don't understand this. Can I change her nose? I just gotta... Face shape, uh, face shape, nose, nostrils. It's not really changing her. Look how fucking pointy that thing is. Can we dim down on that? Am I making it worse?
I can't tell if I'm making it worse or making it better. Oh, this is definitely worse. What, if it, what does it mean by narrowness? Can we, like, put this bitch down? Oh, that's why. This is the size of my nose is huge. That's fine. There we go. My cheeks. Can I make my cheeks a little fuller? Thicker? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That looks fine. Uh, I want my lips. I want my lips to be thick AF. No, 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 fullness, fullness, that's what I want. Can I make, no, I want my, I want her to be more happy, yeah, I want her to, I think it widens the lip too, it widens, oh my god, look how thick her lips are now. Let me dim down on that. You know what? I think the normal one was fine. All right. Um, I think, I think, I think everything else is fine, perfectly fine. Uh, tattoos, what the? On the forehead? Why should I have a forehead? All right, all right. Mm. Can I move it? Oh wait, thank you. Mm. I kind of do want a tattoo though. It's definitely gonna be black. I don't even look black. It looks like somebody shit on my forehead. Seriously. I'm gonna have like a full fucking story on my forehead. This don't even make sense. I'm just gonna have a fucking unicorn on me. I don't like these tattoos. Let me look at the cosmetics first. Okay, let's pick a... Uh, dark red lipstick. I want some dark red lipstick. Give me some... Now I just look depressed. Not really. Just get that thing off my forehead. Nah, I still look depressed. I look like a depressed person. I'm not gonna. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna dim it down. Those lips are fine. Um. Hair. Let me look at the hair. Yeah. 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 This looks nice. I like that. Or that, that's cool, that's really nice. Not that. Her jaw, her chin's bothering me. Hold on. I'm gonna choose that hair. Black is fine. Uh, she's gonna have a beard. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why is this a thing you can do? It's disgusting. Ugh. Um... Chin, 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 face, chin, 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 chin. I want her chin to be 
I guess long, longer. I want. It's fine now. It's fine. You're perf. You're beautiful. You look. You look fucking gorgeous. Except for that fucking hoodie. I don't know the fuck you look at. Like. What are you doing? Wow. What are we doing? I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard. Alright. We had a little fun playing around with the customizations. Let's get into the game now. I'm definitely going to get some sorcery kills. Stop. Skip that. What do I got? I got a heavy soul arrow and a regular soul arrow. What does the heavy soul arrow do? We're gonna find out, boys. That's what it does. It wrecks them. Okay. Didn't expect it to f annihilate the guy. Alright. So, the first ending that I'm going to complete, because it is the most time consuming ending, and the more, I guess it takes the, m the most effort. So, I'm going to do the, um, I'm gonna marry, uh, I'm gonna marry the chick and do all that and do that ending and get that ending done. The, uh, marrying Aryev, or, uh, I don't even know her name. It's sad. My wife to be. But you get a cool, really cool sword and stuff and you, you get to, you get to stab her. So I think that's, that's fun. Um, no, uh, it's, you'll see, you'll see. I won't, I don't want to spoil too much. Well, you can stab her anytime you want. You can literally kill anybody you find in this game. But there's a lot and there's a lot more endings where Okay, so the first step of this is to find them at the Cruci, uh, Crucian Fix, the Crucifixian Woods, like the the tower right before Crucifixian Woods. And then you talk to them there. I'm not even. I can't even name at them. I couldn't. I couldn't target them. That was weird. Um, and after that, it will be. Um, uh, after Crucifixion Woods, it will be, um, I'd say, maybe, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to say it's before or after the, uh, let's kill that guy. Uh, I think it's, hold on, let me think, let me think. I've literally beat this game seven times now, so. Look at this guy, he's like, where did my face go? Hey bud, just wanted to drop down and say hello to ya, bub. Where the hick heck did you come from? Don't want to waste my uh, magic. So I'm just gonna... Did I kill this guy? Must have. Oh yeah, cause the guy down there, yeah. Noticed me. Alrighty then. So we have, unlike the first, maybe second one, um, we don't have a capacity on uh, soul arrows. It's um, just based off your um, magic. So if you're a sorcerer, you really wanna focus on that. That's all you want to focus on. Yeah. 
lot of damage. Yikes. That did a lot of damage. And, uh, <clears throat> that is why I chose the, um, the sorcerer, he's, he's just OP, the sorcerer class is OP. Um, so, uh, let's see, let me explain some things, sorcerer. Uh, kicks ass, as you just saw. You gotta pay attention to your magic, so you can't. For me, on my other characters, I am I'm a warrior, so I put all of my, I allotted all of my uh, Estus flasks to the healing. I have none, none whatsoever on my uh, Ash and Estus flask. But since since I'm doing this, since I'm a sorcerer, I'm gonna put a lot into the a a a ash in. But I'm going. I'm gonna need uh, to heal a lot. But I've, 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 I've played with a lot of sorcerers, and they sometimes one shot like a lot of the end bosses because they're their magic. Magic is so OP in this game. Like, everything and everything is just weak to magic. And you get, you get, you get to have such a, a gap a, between the enemy that it just... What's the point in even playing as any other character, really? Even though I beat the game as uh, the Warriors those seven times. Uh... I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna go over here first. On my other character, I'm almost level like 200. So. Um. I already have Soul Arrow. I might try playing around with the Farin Darts. Farin Darts, I think, fire the fastest. We'll be buying that, just because I want to help people out. I'm more of a helper than a need helper. I play this game too many times to need help. All right, so I want to what really helps my weapon. Either dexterity or strength, really. Uh, it's gonna be dexterity though, because it increases. Yeah, I'm gonna level up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm still here, I'm still here. I'm not leaving that one. Okay, so. Isn't the second hand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is. May the it's in the second hand in the okay, so right hand, number two, okay. Very well, then touch the darkness within me. That's <laughs> touch the darkness within me. Be Woo! You have to touch the, the darkness within me. Um, so stupid. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Strength. If you really wanna. Put six towards FP because I'm a sorcerer. Is that what it? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I get another slot, and I get more FP. Now I could buy that that uh, thing and actually. Oh, it's a little too expensive. Let me.
And boost sorceries? I already have a ring that does that? I didn't know they... I don't know, I didn't know they gave you that. I have 890 souls. Let me just go... Hold on. Let me go a lot, my ass this. I, I gotta do a lot of things. There's so much stuff on my mind. I gotta do, I gotta do. There. I like to have an even amount. I want an even amount. Just so I can. Equal, equal, I like equal. Even though the max is 15, so I'm gonna have to have one more of one, and I, um, an Estus flask. I think I'm gonna go with one more magic and just have, uh, I can't really do anything with this guy yet until you get the, uh, the, uh, what is it? The kiln from one of the bosses. I'm just gonna acquire a few more souls. So I can. Alright. Yep, this is not gonna work out. Get out of here. I swing faster than you. You. <laughs> Whoa! You see that? That was some whipping back and forth. There's a dog over here I can kill. That sounds morbid, but. Only because it's true. And that only gave me 10? Damn. They really uh, make you grind for this. It's because I'm I'm a sorcerer, so it's, I'm already OP enough. I don't need souls to be OP, but I will be uh, accepting them anyways. Give me, give me. For the ones that have no idea what this game is, uh, it's called Dark Souls Three. This is the third one of the game. Uh, there's, I think, three DLCs with this one. There's also three DLCs for the first, the second one. I'm not really sure about the, the first one. I only, I've only played it once, and I haven't beaten it, so I don't know what the ending is. I'm not really sure. It's a lot different than this game, though. Graphics are crap. Um, gameplay is. 100 though but um there's this uh the the firelink shrine we're in right now uh they have it in all i think they have it in all three games the first one i know they have it in the first one but it's nothing like this this is it's it's literally a ruin like broken uh brick walls placed a little bit and then there's the campfire and it's all green everywhere like grass and sh it's all overgrown and um, in the first one from the firelink shrine there are like four five maybe six different different paths you can take but every path leads to a hard very hard section there's a, there's a section you have to go to first where the enemies are the easiest, so easy. And then you every area you go to leads back to the Firelink Shrine. It's, it's weird, it's crazy.
the Fire Link Shrine's more of a checkpoint than anything. In the first one. Second one. You just had to talk to the lady that you level up to. That's pretty much it. To level up, you just need to talk to the lady. Look at that tiny little sword. Can I have that? You can get a coiled sword in this. A great sword. I think you get it from just defeating the final boss. And then going to... Uh, the guy that you have to give the kill to that's sitting in the throne. And it, once you make a new game plus. Um, we're going to go to the left first. Uh, after I kill this guy. Because sometimes this guy... Drops a bow. Didn't drop a bow. I'll get the uh, fair and dart later. I'm not gonna lie. Whoops. Headphone fall fell out. Sorry. I'm not gonna lie, they do no damage to me. That guy was so crouched on the ground I couldn't even hit him. Give me them juicy souls. No match for me, boy. Sit down. Let me just cut this. Let me cut his foot. There are a few dragons you have to fight in this game. One is an actual boss, the others are just stupid. In the way, pretty much. actually take one shot to get that guy. I thought it was going to. I've been false. You're dead. I wonder if the more I level up in my uh, in like magic I wonder if the speed he gets uh, better. I've never really, never really played uh, Sorcerer on this. The second one, I beat the game as a Sorcerer because it was one of the most incredibly easy classes to use. Um, I defeated all like the, when you go to the Giants worlds, you have to fight the Giants and kill the Giants. This is what I used and there was one spot where it was, I could just, sit there and uh, attack the guy. Mm. Yeah, I wish there were a little harder enemies. So I'm gonna, when they get, when they come further down, I'm gonna go up there. You can activate the dragon. The dragon will kill half of them. I mean all of them, if you time it right. Maybe not that guy just standing there on the stairs, but...
He will breathe breath fire down there. I got every one of them. There's a way of getting up there, I think, on a, maybe not attacking it, maybe, I'm not sure. Oh, broke right through the fucking table. Uh, don't want to open that chest yet. Uh, that's not a chest at all, that's a monster. So, usually I just save that for when I get stronger and... For those who don't know, there's a knight that comes out, you can fight him, you don't have to. He goes down to the right where that dragon blows fire on other guys below. And uh, once you go in there, you go to the right, and there will be a bonfire. You have that guy follow you if you want. Just that guy. You don't have. Him. He's gonna chase after you. You just block him the shield. Do a bunch of crap. I really want to find a way to get rid of that dragon. Kind of a nuisance. Where he is at? Can't go up those stairs. So back down we go. And wait until he leaves. And then we won't attract any attention from the guy above. All we want is this guy. Look at this guy. We did. And then from here, we want to go this way. And while you're killing this guy, a guy will come up behind you. And there'll be a guy up the stairs that comes up the ladder. Easy as that. Um, so here there will be a guy that turns into a monster. But you can kill that guy before he turns into that monster. But, right now, I'm going to save all of my energy and run away. I do believe that guy is still alive, yes. So I'm gonna wait until he comes up here. He's coming. Slowly, but he's coming. Yikes, that's my bad. And he killed himself. And he, <laughs> he suicided onto my dead body. That was my bad. My fault. 
I'll take 100% complete blame for that one. Um, thank you. Wow, I don't know how I was so bad against that guy. Uh, I'm gonna use this. Just because it increases my health. May not be too much, but at least it's something. Oh, hey, now he's dodging me. Alright. Hi. Hi. Okay. So jump down here, jump down here, shoot your damn thing. Ooh, that time hit me. That guy ain't living. <laughs> All right. Um. So if you come over here, grab this, it's an ember. Fat guy will come at you. You juke him like this, grab another ember, and you just get get out. There's nothing there. Nothing good for ya. There's a guy around the corner right here. Kill him. Archer. Easy stuff. It's next to the fridge in your room. Think, I think I can take the boss on my own, but this is a default, this is like a default summon guy. So I'm gonna summon this guy, because I think it aids in the story a little bit anyway. And I wanna watch him die. Um, don't matter to me. I don't know. How'd you not kill him in one hit? Are you that bad? And you're still trying to swing at him? Two. Two. Look at that, that does some damage, boys. It's okay, sir. Are you, is this guy serious? Oh, you wrecked him, holy cow. Didn't expect you to do that. He was full. <laughs> that guy got wrecked. Uh, refill my magic. Let's do this. Let's do this. First boss, um, Vort of the Boreal, Boreal, Boreal Valley. Boreal Valley. Something like that. I won't skip the uh, cutscene for this guy. I'm a woman and I'm gonna kick your ass. 
come here and give me sass. I like it. Use me up. Come over here so you can get cut. You're gonna die. It's inevitable. You're gonna be a vegetable. Let's see how much damage this does. Decent. You're gonna, you're gonna sit there. You really gonna sit there and not attack this guy? Come at me. Oh my god, he came. He came at me. died he almost had it I almost died sir sir we did it <laughs> that was the easiest could have done it by myself brush your shoulder off like no problem <laughs> nah, that almost cost me my life but you know what I'm not, I'm not gonna die from the second boss in the game well the first main boss not main boss, not like main story boss, but it's a, it's, you gotta, you gotta go through him to get where you need to go. So I'm gonna swap out of that. I'm just gonna grab your attention. Okay. Heal, brother. Just so I can. it here again. In my opinion, I think the, uh, and I think it could be in the, I don't know what I was going to say. Alright. First of all. Jesus Christ. That's... This guy didn't even try. Come on. Just give me some challenge. I'm going to drink this, because it's just a clear path to where I need to go. Also, um, the first thing I'm going to do when I get across this... Uh... I am challenge here, once I get past this challenge. Thank you. The way of the blue. So, she gives you the banner for the blue centennial, cent sentinels. So you can become one of them and join their covenant. Um, I'm not joining their covenant. I'm going to be joining uh, the sun, sun one. Just because. Actually, there's a secret covenant called Aldrich. Aldrich Faithful, and it is hidden behind a secret wall that I will be showing you guys, but that's not until we beat uh, Pontiff Sullivan, which is a task.
just to getting there. Look how, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is gorgeous. There's a lot of places nearby here that you actually don't go to until super late into the game. Like those ones with the towers, the three towers. Uh, you don't even go to that one in for for a while. Actually, no, no, no. You go to that after the uh, after you after you uh, go to the uh, Cathedral of the Deep. You can actually. Uh, that's the swamp. That's the swamp area. I don't really know what's there. What's over there, but... What is that? I don't remember seeing that castle anywhere. I don't remember. I think over, that, that big building over there is where you fight one of the bosses. And where you get the transposing kiln is what it's called. That's what it's called. Raise thy banner. This is like a village over in the distance in the mountains. Well, hello, friend. What I don't understand is this is the only time you see these guys. I'm gonna find that spear. I'm gonna get that fucking weapon from that motherfucker. Crows everywhere. Look how ominous this looks. Look at the giant in the distance just shooting arrows off. You can even hear the arrows being shot off, that's cool. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go level up. And the sword I have now will be the sword I have at the end of the game. I'm keeping the sword. I'm not changing it. I will upgrade it. Alright, uh... So... I definitely want some more magic in my life. And what do I use to upgrade my? What do I use to upgrade my magic? Like the damage my magic does. <laughs> That's one thing I don't know because I have never played as a sorcerer before, but it's a good walkthrough character. It's nice to... So let me, I'm going to look up a guide to guide you guys. 
Um, I, I really, I really want to help people through this game. So that's why, that's, that's why I'm gonna make YouTube videos. That's, that's my goal, is to give people walkthroughs. Because I'm just, I'm so good at games, I'm so, like, knowledgeable and throughout my history of gaming I um, I've played a lot of games that have to do with puzzles and like different ways to complete your objective and stuff and those are the kind of games I like I don't like one one just one pe path one repetitive path you keep taking not nah, this game has so many. All right. So what increases magic damage? Uh, Dark Souls Three. This is the internet's not working, but I have full bars of internet. What is going on? Internet's not crapping. Right. Refresh? Maybe? What? Maybe not. Maybe I won't. Resistances. I don't know. I'm gonna level up my health though. I do want some health. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that magic bars go. Imagine just me spamming off just uh, soul arrows, just spamming them all out. Alright, I'm playing for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. For the first d walkthrough episode, I think that's pretty decent. So, next time will be, I'll already have this looked up and I'll know how to level up my magic so I can be the most powerful. Anyways, uh, the most powerful wizard. Um, next, next stop is... The castle? Or... Yeah, the castle, I think. No, some, something. The cathedral? No. I have to fight the, the freaking tree monster, whatever the tree monster's name is. I don't remember half the character's name. We'll get there when we get there. But, anyways. Stover 420 with the dank walkthroughs. The dankest walkthroughs of any cool games I think of. I'm just gonna give you walkthroughs for. Especially Dark Souls. Dark Souls needs a walkthrough. A very decent walkthrough, a very thorough. I sometimes I I've been looking up videos of Dark Souls videos and they're not thorough enough thorough thorough enough. And there's no commentary. A lot of the videos don't have commentary and I don't like that. So I'm here giving you the commentary I wanted and hopefully it will help you understand the game more and that is where I'm gonna end it for this one I will see you in the next episode of this walkthrough